Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe Gaitone Day. And Gabe, we got a video today. This is coming as a request from our man, AJ. Thanks, AJ, for looking out. And I got a cool, few cool facts about this song, this video, before we get into it. We are looking at the song Enjoy Ngami. And this is by D. Dehi featuring Arivu. All right? If you scroll down just a little bit on this video, you're going to see a guy's name that we've heard of before and we have seen on TV a man named Ashwin. He has a yeah, comment man. there from two days ago. He says, mind-blowing. Absolutely love the creation. And, yeah, his comments got 35,000 likes. Of course his comments got 35,000 likes. The power that of is, Ashwin. That is crazy. You know what? I like the fact that he is that he is so accessible, okay? Let me tell you something. In Major League Baseball, the, the most – out there player is Trevor Bauer, and that's because he's accessible. The dude has his own YouTube channel as well. Yo, he's got his own Twitter. I, obviously, everybody has his own Twitter, Instagram, but he interacts with the fans, and you like the, the ability to be able to interact with these people, right? And, dude, sometimes it gets Trevor Bauer in trouble, like when he calls out the commissioner on stuff, and I'm like, bro, that's your boss. You know what I'm saying? But don't they seem like to, to – to be more real, Nick, when they are just accessible. When bro. they're YouTubers themselves, they understand the struggle. They understand, you know, giving those dues where it's where it's due. And speaking of that, you know, I got the cricket hat on. If you don't know, we have another channel called Cricket for Americans. If you're watching this, if you love cricket, go ahead and check out that channel. That's how we know Ashwin. We've been talking a lot about this um, Indian legend. But we know about him getting all his wickets, especially against England in that test series. But also, the cool thing is, so did he... D, the singer, she's a, a playback singer for Tamil Cinema, but she also is Sri Lankan and Australian. So she's wow. got um, the best of those both worlds right there. She um, she is singing this. Aruvu is the rapper. This guy, it says on his bio, while pursuing his MBA in college, he met Pa Rajinth, who signed him as a part of Kala. He later auditioned, landed a role in Rajinth's band, and then eventually he grew up, uh, or before that, he grew up 60 kilometers west of Chennai. And this is a song in Tamil, which is, you know, the, the main language there spoken in Chennai. You know about Chennai because you're a CSK fan, the Chennai CSK Super Kings. Right? So you got that little CSK flow here I in this. You got the little style again. Gabe, he's a big CSK fan. And well, I won't say that. I won't do the drive-by. But me, me, me and Dwayne Bravo with champions. Come on now. You know, with <laughs> champions. That's another song for you to say. <laughs> so this guy and his champion, we're going to go ahead and check this out. Thank you so much for checking us out here at Born Reviews. If you like this video, go and give us a thumbs up. If you like what we do, go ahead and subscribe. We appreciate it. And in three, two, one. Oh, and by the way, everyone's reacted to this. It's going bananas right now. You got the director in there. Ooh. Dude, look at the visuals. That's dope. Ah! Uh -huh. 
Hey, the visuals are crazy. Too, he's got a sweet haircut, too. <laughs> that is bananas bro wow that was super impressive her and him are it's like impossible to take your eyes off him for crying out loud so mesmerizing i love the whole the whole nature feel the whole nature theme throughout the song ride the elephant shower in the rain enjoy my dear Talking about, you know, basket weaving, the seeds are growing from our mom and dad that left it behind us. I mean, was that not a powerful message? Not to mention just their song, their their voices and the, the drums and everything, but their voices intertwining when the other one's singing made for a nice melodic sound. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, you know, I think that the first thing that I picked up is when I'm reading, first of all, it was the, li- the visuals. You hit it on it. Whenever you see, I don't know what kind of camera this was shot on, man, but it was so crisp, right? It was so sharp. And some of the visuals were really good. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, here's, here's the thing. 
as soon as you said rap right away, I was like, okay, let me check this out because I know a l- I follow a little bit about the Indian rap scene, right? After we watched the movie Gully Boy, I follow a couple Indian rappers like Brother V. So I know that, you know, hey, they got some serious artists out there that can perform. You know what I mean? Gully Boy is still one of my favorite soundtracks. And even recently, Master, which is not a rap song, but, you know, they have some great um, songs in there. Like, listen, they have great music uh, as far as uh, 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 that, that film is concerned. But... When it comes to rap, and this is part of what's happened in American rap, you fall into the trap of way too many rappers talking about stuff that, all right, that you can only have 36 gold chains. You can only have 36 boats. You can only have so many bottles of champagne. To buy. Pretty much it becomes the same thing over and over again, and that gets kind of boring unless you're really, really sharp with it. You know what I mean? For the mo- for When it comes to rap, I'm very critical when it comes to rap. And I look at the lyrics. I grew up in the in the era of Nas. You know what I mean? I grew up in the era of Biggie and Tupac. People that actually talked about stuff. And if you're just gonna come talking about how many cars you got, how many girls you have, how many mansions you got, all the dough you got, yeah, I'm checked out. You know what I mean? Like right now, I only listen to maybe four or five American rappers: Kendrick Lamar, um, you know, T Grizzly. Right, first day out. It's one of my favorite songs. That, like this is the generation of rappers and there's only a few of them that i like listen to mainstream there are some of them like all right you're all right like okay everybody loves drake the world loves drake all right i'll listen to drake even though he can be a little repetitive too but other than that it's like that was the first thing that that, that caught my eye about this about this song nick like the lyrics i was like oh this is crazy this is deep it's talking about more than what your typical typical song talks about it's talking about the earth you know, like you said the the connection there and dude just the song itself was awesome, you know. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Even though when you heard you heard uh, cuckoo, cuckoo, the first thing that came uh, to mind was gangs of uh, not gangs of Wasifer, um, Sacred Games, right? Because that was uh, his girl's name in the first cuckoo. one, cuckoo. But uh, bro, it was dope. It was dope. I enjoyed it. I had my daughter actually watch it with me because she was very, always very critical of the choreography, and even though there wasn't a lot melodically, they were moving in sync, and you saw them doing small movements that was super cool. Yeah, sometimes the small movements make a big impression. Absolutely. This is her debut single as an independent wow. artist. I mean, that's again, she's a playback singer for films or whatever. She actually has a song that she did on a on or a, maybe it was a film called Cuckoo. So that's kind of funny that it's in here. Uh yeah, I love I love the whole theme. I love the visuals, like you said, love the the choreography that was there, but I love the 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 voices of these these singers and I don't know why, but I was getting almost like a Nelly Furtado type feel there. And I love Nelly Furtado before she kind of turned a little more mainstream with her, her first album. But anyways, this was fantastic. We know you guys have seen a million reactions for this. Let us know what you thought about this reaction. Let us know what you thought about the song. This was your first time listening to it. Don't forget, like I said, please go ahead and show these people some love. Show us some love. And with all that being said, until next time. We know all things.